It's a poem about a song that I was never really able to play. All the things you are aren't enough to forestall the crashing financial headaches or late night battles over unused toothbrushes, unmunched lunches, lights not shut, surfaces not swept, or the existential morass around the kids' sagging pants. Even your promised touch of springtime can't protect us from the terrible job Leo did on the roof that caused the flood next to the garbage cans, which culminated in the tragic call to the roofer who really and truly fell. told you, I wonder if I ever told you that there was a time when ripping through these, the cortages of this old song afforded a guy a place among, a place of honor among young jazzers. How back then Sam Furness, Arturo knew Sam, Steve knew Sam, he was my go-to pilot sitting next to me at the Henry Street Big Band. Alto, alto strapped to his side all the things he was achingly elegant, quiet, focused a study, of, a study in fire who could imagine that one day we'd attach those headphones to his fragile blue-gray beard five short months after the bad news Mobley, Griffin and Coltrane singing him into the breathless hush of evening from their golden bells change. The song was never a favorite. Just another river to flop around in. Another impossible lawn made greener by someone else's eighth notes. And today, when we were cooking oatmeal, 
I heard Sonny Chris drive his Selmer through the angel glow that lights a star line. The angel glow that lights a star line. I marvel to the metaphorical power of stars and how they rise over the bridges of all these old tombs, even glistening above our most tragic roofs. And I wondered what star Big Sam ended up on and whether or not he stuck with the Lamberson mouthpiece or switched back to the Selmer Sea Star opting for a slightly thinner line to thread a breathless heaven. <laughs> <laughs> 